Hi, I'm going to have a look at parameter queries now in preparation for the advanced DCDL database test using 2007. Okay, I've got a query here that I've created already. At the moment you can see it just displays all of the fields from the training sessions details table. If I wanted to show just the equity courses, I could type in equity here and run the query and it displays the equity courses. And I could save that and call it find an equity course. However, if I then wanted a query that showed just the child protection courses, I would have to run that separately, save it again and call it find equity course, sorry, find child protection courses. So that's not really very useful to have all of these different queries created. What I can do instead is create a query where it asks the user what type of course you'd like to see. Sorry. What I do is I put a prompt in there within square brackets. And what Access will do now is it'll have a look, because the square bracket's there, it'll have a look in the table and try and find that field. But seeing as the field isn't there, it'll ask the user instead. So if I run that now, see it comes up with a question. If I type in equity and click on OK, it'll display the equity courses. If I go back, run it again, if I type in child protection, it displays the child protection courses. So now that makes it an awful lot more useful. I can have one query here and I can use that for every type of course that I want to search for. I can use that on different things as well. So I can use it uh, on the start date, on the end date. I can use it for course codes. But on here, perhaps I would like to display courses that run after a certain date. So I can't just put what's the date in here. I've got to use a greater than sign. What is the earliest date? So I've got two different prompts here. And now I'm using a comparison sign with it as well. If I run that again, first of all, it asks me what course I would like. And then it says, what is the earliest date? Well, I can say perhaps 1st of the 3rd, 2011. Now it's applied both of those criteria, showing me just child protection courses that have started after the 1st of March. I can save that now. And close it. And that's the query done. If the question asks you, by the way, if it has the prompt word prompt in it, so prompt the user or create a prompt that will find certain information, then it's talking about a parameter query. Okay, best of luck in your test.